Marijuana use during adolescence can lead to serious long-term cognitive impairment and an increased risk of severe psychiatric disorders, according to new research from the lab of Dr. Asaf Keller at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Children who start around pre-adolescence, uh, 13 to 15 years of age, tend to develop very severe deficits, and these include a very high incidence of neuropsychiatric disorders like schizophrenia and attention deficit disorders, as well as long-term and permanent reductions in, uh, in intelligence as measured by IQ tests. In the study, researcher Sylvie Raver measured the brain activity of mice after exposure to low levels of marijuana during adolescence. Cortical oscillations measured in adulthood revealed the impact on the adolescent brain. We found out that these oscillations, which are really important, like I said, for cognitive functions, but also for just more general sensory processing and motor planning and pretty much everything interesting that the brain does, um, these oscillations are completely abnormal in our mice that we expose to marijuana or active ingredients in marijuana during adolescence. It, it is very worrisome uh, and it seems to be very specific to that age because when we repeated that experiment in older animals that were beyond their uh, period of adolescence, these animals had no permanent deficits. Now that the link to cognitive impairment is clearly established, researchers will try to understand why and how it happens, which is key to prevention and treatment. We know that adolescents undergo uh, very drastic developmental processes, especially in the more frontal parts of the brain that are involved with decision making and uh, higher cognitive functions. And we think that it is this developmental process that renders the brain particularly sensitive to any types of uh, inter uh, interactions with environmental factors such as marijuana. As the public debates decriminalization and legalization of marijuana, it is sobering information for parents and teens to consider. The pathology that occurs because of exposure at that age is irreversible. It is long-lasting and even complete cessation of marijuana exposure will not reverse these changes. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.